What, what in the hell is going on tonight? What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy. Happy hump day. Hump day. So today, well, first of all, I want to thank those who tuned into my uh, Monday show when I talked about the Rockefeller waterfall, uh, waterfall method. Um, at this time, I haven't gotten enough responses on that, so I'll address those as they come in. But today I want to talk about coaching. Coaching. You've heard of life coaches, business coaches, actual athletic coaches. Coaching. You know, once you, I'll say this. Now I'm a big, big shit talker about the educational system. I have relatives and families and friends who are teachers and things like that. And no disrespect to them. But I also have seen that. For the most part, as a, a person who goes through school, you're being taught to be an employee, a great employee. Think about it. A great employee. You got breaks in between. You got recess. You got you go from one subject to the next subject to the next subject. And even though it's not a full time job, so to, so to speak, it's close. So you're learning to be a good employee. I'm of the mindset and I'm talking to people who are trying to start a business trying to be financially free, trying to be to have their time free, and to be able to, basically, let me say it this way. My goals are healthy, wealthy, wise, so that the foundation of those will bring me time freedom, location freedom, and financial freedom. In other words, I want to be able to know what I'm doing, be healthy enough to do it, to be able to go where I want, when I want, how I want, whenever I want. Total freedom, those three, those six things are total freedom. So the point I'm trying to make is I'm talking to people like myself who are looking to be like myself. I'm 51 and can still achieve this. The things that we're learning as far as when to retire at 69 and all that, essentially we're working as slaves, so to speak. And I can get into that another show about the slavery aspect of it, because slavery is not slavery being taught was racial. But we're all slaves, except those who are talking or are thinking the way I'm talking about now. The people who own businesses that are able to do the things that they want to do. We, as their workers, get upset at them, but in actuality, we're no different than them. We just don't put the time in. So what I'm doing with the show is I'm trying to motivate those who want to do it to be in the same vein. So with that being said, going back to the educational part, there's nothing wrong with education. You have to learn things in order for you to further yourself in what it is that you want to do. But what school does is it goes, here's all these things. Which one do you want to do? And we're so bombarded with that stuff between trying to pick what that is, which is usually in college, trying to pick which one that is that we want to do. But during the other time, we're getting bombarded with all these other subjects and we have to memorize things in order to pass a test for someone to say, well, Good job. You memorize this. Good job. All right. But then that takes away critical thinking that takes away if you're sucked into that. OK. And you're not aware. You start to think the way people want you to think. So you start to get scared when other non-traditional things come into play, because in your mind, you aren't supposed to be doing those things or that's not the way things go. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the most electrifying, the most entertaining, and the downright most incredible channel on YouTube, the Inky Man Channel, where motivation meets gluttony, where Vegas meets victory, and where your love for the Patriots meets its match. Don't miss out on the fun, the food, and the fanaticism, because life is too short not to laugh along with Inky Man. Subscribe now to the Inky Man Show channel. So I'm a person who thinks outside of that, but... In my research of trying to be in these, the, in, trying to achieve the six goals, it requires having a business of some sort, 
It requires critical thinking and requires thinking outside the box in order to get these things. If everybody thought the way that I'm talking about right now, none of us would be working. We'd have our own jobs, our own businesses. I mean, we'd probably work for the business or we'd get people to work for the business, right? And it would just be like it used to be where Mr. Jones had the candy, Mrs. Jones or Mrs. Uh, Jenkins had the clothes, you know, people would have their own trades and we'd just be trading with our trades. You dig? So back to the coaching. And I'm sorry, that was a rant and I apologize for that, but it was to bring this point home. You need a coach. So in my personal uh, being of the healthy, wealthy and wise aspect, wisdom comes with education. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to read stuff. You could watch TV, you could watch YouTube University as people are calling it. You can learn from other people. You can join in the groups of like-minded people and have conversations and learn the latest things. So with me, I'm trying to learn this Rockefeller Waterfeller, Rockefeller Waterfall method. And there are things that are out there to teach you as such, books that are out there to teach you as such. If you want to know what those books are, DM me. I'll put you on. All right. I even have some books I can recommend. I also have a book that I can give to you. All right. That I can email to you and you can read it and follow along with what it is I'm talking about. It would be great to do that because then I would form some kind of book club or some sort of thing. And that would be a separate thing outside of the show. I would love to do to get other people to kind of jump on this. You know, it doesn't have to be a big group. It could be me and just you. But I would love to be able to do that. So big shout out to my brother Clovis because he put me on to this thing called the Money Multiplier by a guy named Chris Nagel. And what this does, it teaches basically how to be your own bank, which is what the Rockefeller, Rockefeller Waterfall Method is about. is you having your own bank, you being the bank. And what I was teaching you on Monday was that it just wasn't refined. And I have to get that to be refined so I can continue to share this information. But instead of you waiting for me, if you DM me, I can tell you places that you can go as such, such as this money multiplier program and see if you want to join in. You have to get that mindset and you need a coach. You need somebody to give you a swift kick in the old buckus. I was trying to think of another word for that, but I guess that was good enough. You need a swift kick in the ass. You need a, a, a you need fire up on you. You need somebody going, hey, what are you doing? I thought you said you was going to do this. You need people to hold you accountable. Sometimes relatives and friends aren't enough. Sometimes you have to go the professional route. If you go that professional route and you're working with someone you do not know, but you're building a relationship with, there's a thing that can be, there's a connection that can be made there that is not like having a family or friend tell you what's going on because the problem with having family and friends teaching you different things is they're only going to tell you, tell you what they know and if they're not even in that space but they might be doing it on the side they're only going to tell you what they know but if you go on with someone who full-time this is what they do they're going to tell you way more than what that person knows all right so i need a coach and my coach so I can give this information as far as the Rockefeller method, as well as implementing it, being my own bank, having my family bank, having generational wealth come from this family bank. I have to have a coach. Welcome to the Inky Man podcast, a place where inspiration meets the seductive worlds of gastronomic exploration and flashing Las Vegas lights. Your host, Inky Man, will take you on a tour around the vibrant streets of Vegas while providing you with a delightful fusion of culinary delights, motivation, and insight. Whether you're craving insider information on the greatest eateries in the area or you're searching for inspiration to help you reach your goals, the Inky Man Podcast is your go-to source for everything positive, Las Vegas approved, and foodie approved. So grab a seat, hit play, and let's explore Inky Man's dynamic fusion of culinary adventures and inspiration. So what is this whole point of this whole rant is? Get you a coach. <laughs> DM me for more information. Thank y'all for tuning into the show this week. Uh, we got some special guests still coming up. Um, I'm loving what's going on. Make sure you tune into my podcast. It's on Spotify. I got a new show every Sunday. This show comes out Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. I got my hands in a lot of things, but I know how to do them. Why? 
because I have a coach or two. Love you. Y'all be good. Later. I'm out, yo. Stay tuned for more from your friendly neighborhood inky man. Wow, Joe.